So now this is your second as a head coach. What is it? What did you learn from the last time that you went there that you're kind of bringing this time? You know, I think that group we maybe even built up the Frozen Four a little bit too much, and that was a little bit of the feedback we got after the season. And it just seems to be a, a more of a I don't know a calm confidence to the group, and we're not changing anything that we're doing as we prepare uh, for a very good hockey team in Michigan. There's so much history with this with this Frozen Four and the 2004 one. Do you remember where you were that year? Yeah, I was um, I was at home uh, watching. I, honestly, I think I was by myself. Um, two iconic games in, in the history of Denver hockey with the, the comeback victory against Duluth and obviously the, the one nothing shutout. Um, definitely a, a huge moment in our program's history that and has led to the profound success that our program's had you know, since the turn of the century with three different head coaches, which, which is not an easy feat to accomplish. You said your parents weren't with you and you were by yourself. That's obviously because your brother was playing in that game, is yes. that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Matthew was playing, he was a freshman um, on the team and uh, was his first of two championships. So I'm one behind him. It'd be nice to, to catch him here this, this year. He also um, was a Hobie Baker award winner. Mm -hmm you have a finalist on your team. I mean, what does set him apart? And if he does win this award, why do you think that he'll be so deserving? His competitiveness and his ability to make plays. And um, he wants to be on the ice in big moments and um, he, he executes in them. Um, again, Bob's not the only guy on our team like that, but he's certainly one of them. And he's gotten a lot of recognition um, leading the country in points and, um, and executing in, in big moments. When you look around this arena, I mean, there's almost not even enough room for all of the banners. There's so much history mm -hmm. here. Um, what does it say about this program that there's just so much history and to know that you've been a part of so much of the, the latter part of it? It means a lot, um, probably is the biggest thing. And um, a lot of people came before us to, to kind of set the foundation of what this place could be. And, you know, the, the banners speak for themselves. We put a huge precedent on trying to win championships every year. Um, it's really the only, it's the only banners we hang are national championships, it's our sole focus. Last, last year with not making the national tournament at all and then coming back to now being back at the Frozen Four, is there a bit of a chip on the shoulder of this team? Certainly I think in the spring and in the summer and coming into the year, I think we all had it. Um, I think a lot of the guys who returned, um, they feel that and, and they wanted to make sure that they're getting Denver hockey back where it belongs and back where we're all accustomed to it being. Is it back where it belongs? Absolutely, playing the last weekend of the year.